Okay, what's your, what's your name and, and why are you here today? So I'm, I'm Harold Gottbucks with the Buffalo Billionaires and we're just we're just all excited and pleased that one of our own billionaires is, is running for president. And, uh, you know, we always, we're used to working in the back room pulling strings and stuff. Well, we're going to have somebody for president that just can run it straight up right out in the open. It'll be, it'll be wonderful. We do think, though, that he needs to be proud of his heritage. Instead of turning his family name into a brand name, he should go back to and be proud of his heritage. And what's his heritage? Can you can you explain well, what that I is? Mean, this is his family name going back oh. you know, years and years. Okay, okay. So, yeah. And could you explain what heritage is for the other Trump people here? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Harold Gottbox and I can trace the Gottbucks back to the 16th century. You know? Oh, okay. We have a long history of being Okay, here. so you, you were one of the original slave owners. Well, probably back in the day, but we don't advertise it now because oh, it became unpopular. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's just, yeah, right. So, um, you know, what, I mean, there must be other billionaires who are not, you know, anti-Islamophobic or, you know, they must be uh, non-pro-slave, uh, you know, billionaires. Why couldn't you support one of those rather than Donald Trump? Well, I'm, I'm not. I'm not getting that he's actually pro slavery. It's very hard to figure out exactly what he's pro anything about, except himself. And you know, we're okay with that. Okay. As long as he, uh, you know, if he gets elected, we'll uh, work with him. He's the big deal, deal maker. We make deals, so it should all work. Okay. Now, now who's going to be his vice presidential candidate? Right. Well, that'd be interesting. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead. Uh, will it be Sarah Palin, maybe? <laughs> no, I think that would be just like too amusing for words. Okay. I so think they'd probably get try to get somebody that was quote Ma respectable, like uh, Dick well, maybe Mitt Romney. Wouldn't Dick, that be hysterical? Dick Cheney, maybe. Dick Cheney. No, Dick Cheney, the Dark Lord. No, oh, I, oh. I don't think you could bring him out of retirement. Okay. All right. Chuck Norris. Oh my Chuck Norris? Ted Nugent. Ted Nugent. Ted Nugent. Ted Nugent. Okay, Ted Nugent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's so, that's so, that's so, who's going to be Secretary of State? Will it be Hillary? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> you know, you're, <laughs> you're, you're a billionaire. You're a billionaire. You know everything. You, well, you thought all this through. I thought all of this through, to be sure. Are you, are you hired people to think for you? And I have hired people to think for. Yeah. <laughs> When we get when we get to that point, we'll we'll have great people for Secretary of State and okay. Treasury. Treasury is important. Okay. Now, what do you think about global warming and climate change? I mean, what? Well, how, global warming is one of those things. You know, if we can make a buck off of it, you know, we're we're there. Okay. Once yeah. We fuck yeah. her up. We'll sell air conditioner. Okay. Okay. And so, do you think anything has to be done about it, or or shall we just well, business like as it's, usual? It's, it's a marketing opportunity. Okay. You know, we'll sell air conditioners and fans and stuff. Okay. It'll it'll all work out. We're gonna we're gonna get the uh, the contract to move Miami to uh, uh, to Dallas. Okay. And, uh, you know things like that. Okay. It'll work out for us. Uh, thank you very much for spending time with us today, and uh, we wish you good luck. My yeah. my, my pleasure. Uh, I really don't need that much good luck, but uh, thanks. Okay. Everybody. Well, thank you. Thank you.